So, off today to do my 1330 mile review of the Triumph Tiger Explorer 1215. Triumph's newest addition to their fleet of bikes, hoping to capture some of the adventure market. Let's just have a look. Let's review it in a little bit more detail, see some of the good features that Triumph have thought of and maybe some of the not so good. Here we have the new Triumph Tiger Explorer. It's got a 1215 engine. As you can see it's had some optional extras. I've done about 1300 miles on it now and now I think it's time for a good review. Triumph has come up with some amazing innovation and some of these things I would like to share with you. There's some great features on the Triumph Tiger Explorer. This is the back. This is the presentation side. You can tell it's the presentation side because the stand is on the other side. This is the front side. This is what oncoming traffic sees. And this is the other side, the non-presentation side. As you can see, we have the stand on this side. Let's have a look at some of the optional extras here on this Triumph Tiger Explorer. Here you can see the engine guards or bars. They protect it if you were to drop the bike, which I have done, so they worked. Moving up to the handlebars, you can see the wind deflectors for the hand grips. These deflect the wind from the hand. Another good feature! When you buy the optional wind deflectors for the hands, you get two. They come in a pair. You don't have to buy those individually. Front fog lights had these fitted too, just in case it's foggy and you need more light. Another good feature. This bike comes with heated hand grips and front fog lights. You can see the two buttons there. They're big buttons. If you've got big fingers, they work well. Now let's have a look at some of the great features Triumph have come up with. Another good feature. This bike comes with standard indicators. You can see those here and here. There so oncoming traffic can tell what way you intend to turn. Traffic behind you can also tell what way you intend to turn. You can see those here and here. Another good feature. Here, as standard, trying to fit it an adjustable wind deflector. This is good. This stops flies from hitting you. This is the front brake. This is the lutch lever. It pushes air over the bike and then makes it easier to ride. It makes it quieter too with less wind noise. Another good feature. This also has an added benefit of reducing malaria throughout the world by killing mosquitoes like this and this and this. Triumph have come up with a very clever design here on the tyres. They've included a tread. This tread, or these gaps within the tyre, help give the bike additional grip. This is good, because if it didn't have this tread, it wouldn't be as stable on slippery roads, or gravelly roads, like this. Good feature, Triumph. Well done. I particularly like this feature. When you switch the bike on with this key, it lights up this panel, which looks pretty. Watch. Isn't that pretty? And that switches it off again. You could do that as many times as what you wanted. <laughs> I never get bored. This is the front brake. This is the lutch lever. One of the fantastic features with this Triumph Explorer is not only did they fit a spring thing here, which is blue, to make the back soft, they fitted a shock absorber at the front to keep the front soft. Good thinking, Triumph. Good thinking. Another good feature. This is for the information. This clever button makes your lights go from down low to up high down low to up high. I like the blue spring down there it's colourful. It's blue. This is the indicator. Push to the right 
to turn right. Press to the left to turn left. Another good feature, you will notice there's a handy flashing signal showing you what way you're indicating. Triumph has fitted all of their Tiger Explorers with standard cruise control. This is activated on this side. You can see this button here will activate on off to select cruise control. While you're driving along, all you need to do is press this button. That then activates the cruise control to carry on at your designated speed. Try not to do it too fast, you don't want to break the law. Let's hear her start it up shall we? Her name's Morag. Lutch. Brake. Lutch. Brake. Lutch. Brake. Lutch. <laughs> All of the exhaust fumes coming from the engine leave the bike. As you can see, Triumph have designed it to go out the back. You don't want it in your face now, do you? This concludes our review of the Triumph Tiger Explorer. We love it. We give it a thumbs up. Sometimes it's just about the little things in life, you know. And views like that over your hometown, well, they warm the cockles of my heart. Seeing nasty bastards leave their litter down like that pisses me right off. No excuse for that shit. Take your crap home with you. Right, let's go.